Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a very quick video. I'm making this video specifically to answer this question that I got on my YouTube channel for the video how to create glitter in Illustrator. Before I start the video, I would like to say that I have a new class on Skillshare. If you don't have Skillshare premium access, you can go and check out the link in the video description, any video description, I've updated them all. And you can also click on the link to my class and you can check out how to create a cute illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so let's get to the question. So the question was, how do you create something like an object or something and put glitter in that and then have a border with a black outline or something like that. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig through my stash of files and find out the file that I use for the glitter so that it'll be pretty quick and you can just continue from that point on. Okay, so I finally found my file and this was the file and we're going to try and do that. So the first option is to create the object. So let me go ahead and create the object. The sample project that I received was actually a diamond. So we're going to try and create a diamond, but it's not going to be perfect because I don't have patience today. <laughs> so let's just click and try to make a diamond here. So one thing to note is each block that you want with a different color has to uh, be a block, um, you know, you just end it with the same point and make it a block kind of thing. So let me click outside and I'll just go here and try to find the center. That's not the center. Yeah, that's the center. And okay, let's just go ahead and do a few more. seems to be a problem here let's go back to this and go to our direct selection tool I'm just going to drag it a little bit in and click on stroke you can find it under window and stroke and let's see what's the problem okay so that's the problem but we're going to go ahead and adjust it so anyway I'm not giving so much importance to the uh, accuracy of this diamond right here because that's not we are aiming for Alright, so we have this and then you can create these individual blocks separately like each piece is a separate piece because that way you can color them different colors like however you want. And now I have this glitter ready and I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a couple more because I need multiple colors for this. Select everything, hold your option key down, click and drag to make a copy. And now we're going to change it because this is like just glitter and color on it. So I'm just going to change this color of the top layer, uh, maybe something like this. And let's make a couple more of this. All right, so I guess uh, all that is fine. So as you can see here, this one already has a black border and that is because we have selected the stroke and given it a black border. If you go to stroke, you can see it's one point. You can make it thicker if you want. So what I'm going to do right now is I'll just round it. This should make those extra edges like, you know, disappear. Okay, so we have four colors ready, but we need to add them to our swatches here. Otherwise, you won't be able to assign it to this one. So what I'm going to do is I'll start off with the first one. I'll select and click everything and press command G to group it together and then go to object pattern make click OK and now you see this bounding box here which has white space so that is what we have to avoid now click on this button right here and let's bring this down to exactly match the size of the rectangle that we have okay so if you don't see those red lines go to view and then smart guides so what it does is it kind of snaps things so you know like okay i've reached the perfect border of this rectangle and things like that after you're done click on done so immediately under your swatches that you can find under window and then swatches you should be able to see your color so if i go to this diamond here click on it and if i click on this swatch don't be on the border go to the fill and then you go to swatches and you click on your swatch it should automatically color it up like that so you can go ahead and add this as well to the pattern let's do that object pattern and make and as you can see it's on the grid because it's the simplest let's go to 
Yeah, just make sure you copy these settings. You don't want it much. Don't edit the width and height because we don't want it to change. And let's just snap it in here so that it's nice and cozy. So click on done and we have this one on these watches as well. So I'm just going to go on one of these things and click on this. So yeah, you have this diamond shaped thing where you can add a glitter to different parts of it. So you can also go ahead and create a circle or anything and then you have glitter on it. So you can just go ahead and click and then it will be ready. And for the stroke, you can just click on the stroke, go to your stroke and increase the stroke to whatever size you want. There you go. So this is very simple as how we can add the glitter to your swatches and use them in objects. Thanks for watching and thank you for sending me that question and I'll hope you see you in the next video. Bye.